Kelly here and I've made quite a few videos in the past talking about my modular effects rack and exploring the sound design possibilities when chaining multiple effects together. It's one of my favourite ways to work because you can take a very simple audio source and create really interesting and complex sounds. And for me effects are one of the most important and funnest elements of sound design. So when I saw the new plugin from Arturia, I was instantly reminded of my effects rack because it's basically a chain of effects that can all be clocked, can all be synced and can all be modulated. And that's pretty much what I've got going on here. So the plan today is to just explore some of the sonic possibilities of EFX motions and try use it to make some music. If that sounds fun, then please stick around. Also, please do subscribe if you are new here. And yeah, let's check out EFX Motions. So the tabs running along near the top there are the various effects that we have. We can switch the order of effects, which is very important. And down below we have the motion editor where we can draw in our modulation. Next we have noise and there's a lot to explore in noise because there are a lot of different and unusual noise sources. It's not just classic white noise, pink noise, etc. We have lots of different samples here. including dishwasher. <laughs> Next we have volume, which is basically the VCA. Followed by pan, which is very important. I am a huge fan of cool panning things. And lastly, we have repeat slash effects. And the repeat section of this part is, is very similar to data bender. I would say it might even be more powerful in a way because you can really program what you want it to do and, and so it's less random in that way. And then finally we have two effects slots with a bunch of effects to choose from. So this is very similar to the effects aid that I have at the end of my chain. And yeah, uh, the EFX motion is processing everything you can hear just now. Let's have a listen to it fully, fully wet. The repeat section has pitched everything down by a full octave, but still kept the original BPM. And this is one of the things I love about Databender. And I'm very happy to see that um, EFX does this as well. And lastly, let's have a listen to the fully dry sound. So that's what's coming out of the OP1 going into the modular and the drum brute impact. I like the dry wet mix. I also like it fully wet. Let's check out some more sounds.
This beat is called Drastic Beat Mangle and I really like it. It seems to, do, to be adding just kind of really glitchy noises. And they're quite different every time. But as you can see on the repeat section here that they are quite programmed. And the only other effect being used here is the filter. Although I did add a bit crusher on there as well, just to add a little bit of kind of white noise. And it can get really dirty. I like doing these kind of filter sweeps on the modular. It lets the glitches really ring out a lot more. So I'd like to try out the ambient capabilities of the EFX and to do this I have the ASM Hydrosynth Explorer and here is the dry signal. Let's bring up the dry wet. I'm in the reverb bank of presets and I'm just going to flick through a few and see what happens. This one's quite subtle I guess. some pitch shifting going on here and some gated reverb by the sounds of it. Might be quite nice with some chords.
okay, we seem to have an epic shimmer patch here. actually some harmony going on and I can see that the stretch control is tuned down a fifth. This one is called Rain Trigger and it's definitely very rainy. Epic. Ooh. You can see that the parameters of the effect are being modulated here, which is very modular. like that when you kind of let it ring out a bit. <laughs> then the reverb swells in. Ooh, yeah. and it trails off beautifully.
preset is called Procession and I really like it. Let's listen to the dry signal. Very simple patch here. I was bringing in some bit crush on the effects aid. As well as moving the delay on the Z5000. And this effect acts really well with the sort of stepped modulation that's going on on the EFX. <laughs> I could do that all day. So in this final patch, I'm using a preset called one and a two, and it's a very simple preset. It just seems to bring a bit of dynamics and a bit of character to this very basic beat. Let's have a listen to the dry signal. So it really is very simple. And I have a little lead thing that I've been playing. And when I bring it back in, it adds dynamics to the drums, as well as a little bit of reverb on what's coming through on the snare. And it's mainly the, this filter sweep, which is adding the dynamics, but I feel like it kind of gels it together and makes it a lot more pleasing. And so, yeah, this has been my, my first glance at the Arturia EFX motions. And I've not explored any of the sort of deeper functions, how to apply the modulation how to program sort of more specifically but my first impressions are very good it's um it's definitely the type of plugin that i go to when i have writer's block because it can take a very simple idea and give it life and give it character so i will be exploring this more in the future if you have enjoyed my exploration of efx then please leave a like and a comment 
If you'd like to help support my channel, then I do have a Patreon where I upload extra videos and stuff. Um, I also have some affiliate links down below if you're treating yourself to any new gear and you use one of those links, then I get a little cut of the sale. And finally, I've been making some videos for Signal Sounds, which is my local synth store here in Glasgow. And if you could head over to their YouTube channel and subscribe, then that would be a big help to me. So yeah, I'll catch you all soon. Take it easy.